I was 10 years old when I first started wearing a bra. I absolutely hated it. I was so embarrassed. I used to put undershirts over it so the boys wouldn't see it in fourth grade. There are so many things in life that have escaped me. The logic of them, the reasoning. Life's a funny business. It's funny as we get older and we miss our mom. We start looking like her. I know there's great irony to that. It's just some days, it's, it's just not all that amusing. I was wrong The words I spoke I've been saying many things that are hurtful Your tears shed eyes Your fragile mind Cause I'll be dancing on my own tonight I know December's hard to call with I know I cost you lots of pain But I did not mean to let you down this way But I know deep inside I let your smile fade away I let your smile fade away mm -hmm. I remember when Hi everybody, I'm so happy to talk to you today. How you doing today? I hope you had a wonderful week. Um, you know what? Um, I was just thinking that it had been so long since I actually went to the store and bought a product and brought it home and tried it and then reviewed it for you. It has been really a long time since I have done that. So I decided to do that this week and um, I started to become a little fascinated with full coverage uh, foundation because you know um, when I was talking about like my favorites and my holy grails um, none of the foundations I was talking about was full coverage. And I was thinking, you know, I wonder, you know, how do women who are my age, uh, how do mature women uh, with mature skin, um, how do they like full coverage foundation and what are their favorites? So I went to my favorite place, YouTube, and I put in the search engine, uh, full foundation for mature skin. And all that came up was young girl after young girl after young girl, and I love them all, and they're all beautiful, but there wasn't anybody, even within 20 years of my age group, that had done a review on full coverage foundation for mature skin. So I went to the store, and I bought two of them, two of the most popular. I bought one that is brand new, and it is the L'Oreal uh, infallible uh, total cover and it is full coverage it's new I think it's been out about a month um, and I haven't seen any mature women do a review not that they're not out there but when I put it in the search engine none of, nobody came up the other makeup that I bought that was full coverage is the uh, most popular I believe and it's very very popular amongst uh, uh, some of the younger uh, uh, beautiful gals on YouTube and it is the Revlon color stay uh, full coverage and it is and I bought it in the whipped form because I was told that the whipped form would give me uh, more full coverage um, which is kind of cut to the chase the the Revlon color stay whipped makeup um, it performed so poorly the two times that I used it I really don't have an in-depth demo for you on this makeup uh, so this review is basically uh, centered around the L'Oreal infallible total cover because this is a makeup that I did enjoy that I could work with and I want to tell you a little bit about why so when you go to the L'Oreal website or, or Amazon uh, to uh, take a look at this foundation. Uh, it shows you all their ingredients and all their claims of what it's supposed to do, uh, being full coverage and lightweight. Um, and it, there's a cute thing where uh, L'Oreal is saying that there's uh, Argyle uh, ingredient in the makeup. 
uh, which just cracks me up because they hold the patent for that. And then when you go to search to try to find out what Argal is, <laughs> there's nothing that you can find on it. <laughs> it's on your face, the better it looks. I'm kind of excited today. I'm going to go look at a studio that I'm uh, kind of uh, interested at recording at. So. So I have to hurry and get ready. Yeah, this would be really interesting today to wear this makeup. It goes on, it goes on really weird. It, it kind of looks like super gray and thick and you think, oh, this is just going to be horrible. It's like a mousse and uh, it just, it, you know, I just blended it with I can't imagine using anything but a beauty blender with this makeup um, but I don't know it just it does blend into your skin and it does become part of your skin it's very lightweight so I don't know I'm kind of impressed with it but there's no shine there's no there's no glow that it's just you're all on your own as far as that goes if you want to add highlight or glow or uh, I used a little bit of pure uh, uh, highlight uh, today but you know I don't know so far so far I really like it it's not going into my pores um, and it is a, it is just the shade is a tad light so I'm really um, I'm fearing that I'm not showing you how nice it could be because it is rather light. So, but I'm not seeing anything in my pores. It's not falling into my fine lines. In fact, some of the younger girls seem to have more of a problem with it than I'm having because I watched a few, you know, girls in their 30s review this makeup and they were saying that this makeup was going into the lines of their forehead and I'm 62. It's not going into the lines of my forehead. I mean, no. I mean, their lines are there. <laughs> but it's not accentuating them. So, oh, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with this today. I'm very happy. This is Infallible Total, Infallible Total Cover. What I think happened after about seven and a half hours is the, my own oils, because I have an oily T-zone, that did come through and it did start disintegrating the makeup. But it's weird because even though the makeup didn't look pristine, how it was wearing off is it just looked like my skin. So it was a, it's a very interesting makeup. Yeah. The one thing I can say about this foundation, if you don't like it as a foundation, you can definitely use it as an under eye concealer uh, or a highlight uh, for contouring. So, you know, I, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to use this foundation every day and see if I can, you know, kind of come up with the best way to apply it and figure out if I can find a way to get it to last more than seven and a half hours. Uh, but the reason I don't want to give up on it is uh, because, you know, when I looked in the mirror, it was just such a lovely feeling because it just seemed like here I was so illuminated and yet I had full coverage and I'm not used to that and it just reminded me of when I was young so it's kind of a sentimental thing. I so want to be a kinder person for 2017 but it is a fact it's so much easier to be kinder when you're wearing nice jewelry. I wanted to make sure that I 
uh, said a thank you to my beautiful subscriber Jody uh, for the beautiful eyeshadow palette and my uh, subscriber Ellen for the beautiful package she sent me a lovely card and she sent me this uh, cute little willow figurine with a little boy and a puppy isn't that cute she sure knows what I like so Thank you so much, Ellen, from the bottom of my heart. It meant so much to me, and Jody too. That was so kind of you. Before I go today, I wanted to make sure I said a huge thank you to all of you who uh, took the time to wish me a happy birthday. Your uh, wishes and comments, your messages and your calls, they meant so much to me. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And thank you, too, uh, for uh, so many of you that said, well, you know, give Cooper a hug and kiss for me, too, you know, and that's so sweet. And you know I do that, and you know he just loves it. So thank you for remembering Cooper. Um, you know, Cooper hasn't been feeling all that well the last couple months, so it's been kind of a tough journey for him. So um, thank you so much for your um, kindness towards him. Um, he'll be 14 uh, this April on his birthday, and uh, he's been my absolute anchor. He's been my best friend, and I cherish every day that I get to spend with him. You know, I thought about us the other day when I went to the salon to have my hair cut, and you know how we're always talking about, you know, our confidence and things being age appropriate and this woman walked in the salon and she was about 65 a couple years older than me and she had a real conservative haircut um, but she had a twinkle in her eye and she was chatting with her daughter her daughter looked to be you know about 40 and um, she had a magazine with her and she showed the stylist this picture uh, of this older woman uh, in the magazine with this really cool hip short haircut and um, I saw it and I told the lady that I really liked it and uh, her daughter uh, her daughter came over and looked at the picture and said oh no mom you know considering your age that's just not going to suit you mom and I was so taken aback by that, but I didn't say anything. And so this this woman, she kind of took her magazine where she, you know, she had her high hopes for the for the haircut, and she kind of tucked it in her purse like it didn't exist. And so she got her normal trim, and you know, she, I I watched them leave, and you know, they were chatting away like mother and daughters do. But she did seem so sad to me, and. I don't know. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I, I felt bad about it. And that image kind of stuck in my mind. And, you know, I, I think we can all relate to, you know, some time in our life where we wanted to do something uh, and somebody, family or, or friends, you know, kind of talked us out of it and told us, you know, maybe it wasn't the right thing to do or it wasn't appropriate. But I think it's always good to remember that, you know, we have to be true to ourselves, and there's no such thing as being too old for a haircut or too old for a pair of jeans or too old for a shade of lipstick. We can do whatever we want to do, you know. Life is too short to to be shortchanging ourselves and, and embracing life and, and doing the things that we want to do. So I I thought that incident in the salon... I thought it was just a really good reminder for me to make sure that I do what I want to do and and I, I don't have to think about every turn I make. I have to think, well, I am 62. Would a 62-year-old woman wear these boots? Oh, please. <laughs> it's our story and we get to tell it the way we want to tell it. I remember when we used to lay on the grass and watch the sun go away. But now you're gone, 